Alabama and a little rowdy, which isn't always bad. The Crusaders were hosting West High tonight. Both teams came in at one and three. The Wolverines have played a very tough road schedule early, always against good competition. And as expected, this game wasn't high on style points tonight. Kansas recruit Kirk Heinrich comes up with the steal and will go the distance to drop it in. West Trail for most of the first half. The Crusaders had an eight point lead after one quarter though. Mike Fitzpatrick bombs away for three, 19 to 11, Heelan after one. Heelan would lead at halftime 28-26. Mike Moody, nice dish to Tom Carroll. That is pretty. And uh, but Westwood pull it out in the end. Waylon Goodwin with two points on the fast break, 56-52. West gets win number two on the young season. Over at East High. And with Celebrity tonight, the 4A rankings show what kind of respect the rest of the state has for West High basketball. Even with a 2-3 and three record, the Wolverines are ranked 10th in this week's poll. West was home against North, who, after an 0-3 start, has won three in a row. And just like a Lakers game, the stars turn out. Kansas coach Roy Williams on hand to watch KU recruit Kirk Heinrich, or either that or he's just a big Sports Force fan. North trailed at 31-20 at the half, tried to keep it close. Michael Kalen hits two. He would lead the stars with 12. It wasn't always pretty tonight. Two teams getting after it on the floor. The loose ball will go over to West High and they get it to Casey Vergeth. He ends up with the ball and the bucket. West by 13 in the third quarter. Now off the miss, Vergeth will grab the rebound, throws a touchdown pass to Heinrich for the two, the easy way. 47-28 West after three. Heinrich finished the night with 29 big points. Now Heinrich running the break ahead to Waylon Goodwin. And West rolls over North tonight, 64 to 38, winning their home opener. Started off real slow, but I looked up the scoreboard. We're up like 14 nothing, so that was weird. But the game just seemed to like kind of drag on. I thought we had stretches where we really played good, and we had stretches where we really didn't play very good. We struggled all week during practice, and uh, we had to bring it together tonight. And uh, one of the things we focused on is coming out right away and. Uh, going right at him, and that's what we accomplished. We shut him out in the first quarter, and we just kind of took it from there. This game was close. Scoreboard tells the story tonight. It was not close. West up 30 to 11 at the half, and they continue to pour it on. Casey Berger with a pretty turnaround. West with a 27-point lead. Wolverines continue to go strong to the hole. Kirk Heinrich misses, but Berger pads the rebounding stats there a bit, the board and bucket. Heelan tried to stay in it, kept firing there. Mike Fitzpatrick squares up and drills a three-pointer, but this wasn't enough tonight. West rolls by 22. Brandon Fravel with the jumper. 55-33 is tonight's final. Down at the Mini Dome tonight. If you like basketball, and I hope you do, and I hope we're ready too, we've got some great <laughs> games for you tonight. In the form of an iceberg, he's Anthony Flores, and in the form of low price livestock, I'm Brad Potts. Welcome to the Hall of Justice. We've got highlights of eight area games and a college track meet up in Vermilion. But I get to start tonight. That must be something new. A big game, a top 10 battle between Sioux City East and Sioux City West. To call tonight's game a war would, would have been a laughable to West senior Slavin Markovic, the 6'8 senior center, just came to the U.S. from a war-torn Bosnia this summer. After signing a letter of intent to play for Northern Iowa, Markovic sat out 90 days as a transfer. He finally became eligible tonight as the seventh ranked Wolverines took on number three and unbeaten Sioux City East. And the before mentioned would have a huge game for the Wolverines tonight. West would take a four point lead in the first quarter. That's Daniel Dean scoring on the drive. Danielle Dean, but the Raiders would come back. Justin Bortham's working hard all game inside the paint. He scores. The Raiders would tie the score at 16 after the first quarter. Dusty Cooper scores on the layup. East would open up a six point lead in the second quarter. Bortham's with the alley oop. He had 16 points in the game. And then it's Jeff Carlson scoring inside for the Black Raiders. He had a team high 17 points. But the Wolves would battle back. Check out Waylon Goodwin using Carlton. Maybe got away with the push. And then he gets the basket inside. He had 16 points off the bench for the Wolverines tonight. Maybe. <laughs> no harm, no foul. I guess West cuts it down to a bucket. Kirk Heinrich with a nice tip in, but East closes the, the, the half on a 9-2 run. Tony Ginger hits one of four three-pointers in the game. He had 12. West opens up the third quarter on a 10-0 run. There's Markovic. He had 12 points in the second half and 16 in the game. The Raiders cut the lead down to four in the fourth quarter, but too much Heinrich. A triple-double. 
21 points, 11 assists, and 11 rebounds as West wins 78 to 61. Towards the end of the first half, I was just sorry, I forgot. So tired. That's the tiredest I've been all year. Maybe I'm getting a little bit out of shape. That's my fault for maybe not pushing myself hard enough for practice. The second half, we really came out and we really, we really played good. That's the best we played, I think, all year. My mother called it this morning say, she always had a good dream for me. She said, Slavin, you guys win tonight. And uh, I know in my heart, we'll be winning now because I trust you, my, my mother. Huge win tonight for Sioux City. That's where we start. Sioux City West got their biggest win so far this season on Friday, beating previously undefeated East. The win wasn't so shocking, but the margin was. West won by 17 points, 78-61. They would have another test tonight, taking on Norfolk. The Panthers came in at 4-4. Four and four. Norfolk coach Brian Albrecht looking a little like a young Tim Floyd. Maybe it might be a stretch there. Very close first half. Kirk Heinrich had 28 points. Also spread the wealth with seven assists. Ryan Galloway ties the game up at 15. West would go on an 8-0 run. Senior Waylon Goodwin scores in the post. Great dish by Heinrich. Gets the three-point play. 21-15. Wolverines. Then Norfolk starts to fire at the first quarter buzzer. Luke Olson calmly sinks a 25 footer. 24 20 West after one. He had 14 points. The Panthers were stubborn tonight. Shane Potts gets two of his 13 points off the nice pass, but West had too much tonight. Tom Peck will score in the fast break give and go. West beats Norfolk tonight 67 to 56. And pull up a bottle. South Sioux girls go to North High tonight for a Thanks for tuning in again tonight, along with Anthony Flores, I am Brad Pouch. And, you know, we always focus on quality on the show, but our main goal tonight was to keep the news cars out of the ditches. <laughs> it was a little slick out there. Even with the snow and ice, we have highlights of nine area games. From Hull to Homer and from Mobile to the Muskies, we get you updated on tonight's action starting at North High. That's where Sioux City West, the boys there, seem to be playing their best basketball of the season. After beating East, the Wolverines got by a good Norfolk team on Tuesday. North was hoping for a better showing then in their first meeting with West when the Stars fell hard, 64-38. to And we like to see this, a full house up at the North Gym, and West looked right at home. Kirk Heinrich gets one of his 11 steals. That's a new school record ahead to Daniel Dean. Two of his 14, 21-7 West after one. North outscored West 8-1 to start the second. Jake Bowers gets the loose ball, and the big fellow will lay it in. He led North with 14 points, but it was all West high after that. Ryan Galloway, the sophomore with the rainbow three, nothing but net. He would have 16 points tonight for West. The story for West high, Kirk Heinrich, the senior, and Kansas recruit with a personal best, 37 points. He had 20 in the first half, getting the shooter's roll there. And West pounds North tonight. 93-52 to 52 is tonight's final. At Briarcliff, the Lady Chargers trying for their 23rd straight win at home. Again, fourth in the state at 7-3 coming into tonight's game with South Sioux City. Besides that, they have the leading scorer in town, Kansas recruit Kirk Heinrich, uh, averaging 23 a game. He threw in a career-high 37 in his last contest. And a little bit of showtime tonight, even before the game, with a little bit of a light show. And here they come again. South Sioux was on fire to start the game. Tommy Flynn will... Knocked down a three-pointer from the corner. Cards on an 11-2 run. Then Tim Hornback will knock down three more. South Sioux City led by as many as seven in the first quarter. Playing well, but West would close that gap. Kirk Heinrich with the hoop on the inbounds play there from Ryan Galloway. That's an easy two for him. Then Thomas Peck will knock down the open jump shot. And West, we don't have a final in this game yet, where they were trailing by two after one. We hopefully will get a final very shortly. The North cheerleader at West tonight. The spotlight on Kirk Heinrich and teammates. Wolverines hosting Council Bluffs St. Albert. Right on cue. Heinrich would become the school's all-time leading scorer. He also leads the team in assists. This dish to Slavin Markovic for two of his 12. West by seven after one. The Wolverines other big man Casey Vergeth also, also playing well. He cleans the glass, puts it back in. He also had 12 points. West led by as many as 20 tonight. Ryan Galloway Nice scoop. He led the way with 18 points. Heinrich did uh, get the school scoring mark. He had 14, and Wes Cruz is 66-52. Heinrich now fourth all-time in city history. Dennis City, a great game at West High. Sioux City West and Hall Western Christian might both be playing for state titles in Des Moines in about a month. Tonight, only Pride was on the line as num the number three team in Class 3A. Western Christian came to play the fourth-ranked team in 4A. West, both teams had won. 
10 straight games in a very intense atmosphere tonight. West led it 34-32 at halftime. West would score the first six points of the second half. UNI recruits Slavin Markovic inside. He led all scores with 23 points. West with an eight-point lead. Dort recruits Sean DeStichter scored 13-2, coming on the beautiful reverse lay-in off the glass. West by six after three quarters, 47-41. Not a game for the weak of heart. Look at this, Aaron Van Hall, head over heels on Kirk Heinrich. Fourth quarter now. Sophomore Ryan Galloway steps up with a three. He had 13 points. West up by eight again, but Western would close it to three in the fourth. Justin Van Matron with three of his team high 16. Kirk Heinrich held to just 12 points tonight, half of his average, but this late three made it a six-point game. Hull Western had a chance to tie it at the horn. The Stichter with the three-pointer, but it's off the rim, and West survived 64-61. Both teams lucky to get out of here alive. Yeah, we wanted to use this game as, you know, to see where we're at. We knew they're a real good team. I felt we played really good. I think they're the best team we played this year. The physical play, we're not going to see this in tournaments, obviously, because, uh, well, you just don't see this. And uh, But I think the game will help us. Uh, the guys are very disappointed, but they'll bounce back, and uh, we've got a lot of good things ahead of us. Council Bluffs Thomas Jefferson because Kirk Heinrich had a very sore ankle, set out much of the first quarter. This three did make it 9 nothing. He finished the night with 22. West led by eight after one. The Wolverines hit the boards here, and Ryan Galloway will put it back in. It's 13 to five early. The lead quickly got to double digits in the second quarter. Slavin Markovic with the bucket. He had 16 points. West cruises past TJ. Tom Peck with the open jumper, and the Wolverines get an 80 to 51 win in round one. So here are the 4A substate matchups in the next round. Abe Lincoln will now visit West. Friday at 7 o'clock over at the West High Gym. And the number nine East boys, who were the top seed and had a bye tonight, will host Helan also Friday at 7. Council Bluffs Abe Lincoln into the first. Kirk Heinrich wheels and deals in the lane for the bucket. 18-14. West after one, he had 20. Then Heinrich with a nice bounce pass inside to Casey Burgeth. Still only 32-30. West by two at halftime. AL kept hanging around. Sean Steenson. Gets the hoop and the hack. The big 6-7 guy goes to the line. The Lynx had a 51-50 lead in the final seconds of the game. Ryan Galloway would have the winning bucket, though, at the buzzer. Tom Peck here chipping in with three. 53-51. West does survive the upset bid. So here is your sub-state final for Tuesday night. Sioux City Healing will take on Sioux City West at North High Tuesday at 7 o'clock. Tickets will go on sale Monday morning at Healing and West and North. Doors will open at 5 o'clock on Tuesday. That should be very, very interesting. State final, the Wolverines have gone to state for three years in a row and ended the regular season, ranked second in the state. Helan, well, they were a surprise. The Crusaders were only 9 and 10 in the regular season, but wins over North and East have put them just one win away from the state tournament. And an absolutely full house at the North Gym tonight, and they saw a terrific ball game. Helan led for most of the first half. Tom Carroll will lay in two of his team high. 18 points, 15-9 Crusaders after one. Second quarter, Healing gets that lead to 11. Chris Benson with three of his 11 points. It's 20-9. West then goes on a 16-9 run to close the half. Kirk Heinrich with a terrific move. 29-25, West by four at the half. Third quarter now, West would get that lead up to a dozen. Slavin Markovic had 18 in the game, 11 coming in the third quarter. 45-33, West heading to the fourth. Helan would get as close as six points in the final quarter. Tom Carroll, nice drive here for two more. But West would hold them off. Heinrich had 26 points to be become the all-time scoring leader in the city. He finished with a dunk, 68-59. West goes back to state for the fourth year in a row. Yeah, they've really been the comeback team. I mean, I think almost all their victories down here, down the stretch, they've been behind before they come back and win. So I was really worried. I wasn't, you know, satisfied until the buzzer sounded. Yeah, Heatland, really, they played us hard in that first quarter, and they're probably one of the better teams we've played this year. They played very hard. They rebound well. They're very well coached, and we're kind of lucky to get out of there alive. And we, we knew they were playing really good ball, but we got kind of underestimated at the beginning, and we just needed to step up and play some defense, and that's what we pretty much did in the second half. And who will West play in the tournament? Well, we don't know because a couple of the sub-state finals were postponed tonight because of the weather, so we won't find out until tomorrow the matchups in Class 4A.
Titans will be making their fourth consecutive trip to the state tourney when they tip it up against Waterloo it's East on really Wednesday nice night. To see all the people come out and you know, ask for our graphs. It makes us feel real good. You know, they're great fans, and hopefully these little kids are out here will want to be future Wolverines someday. We have another opportunity each year. I'm, uh, I really feel good for our seniors that they have a chance to do this, and uh, we want to go down and try to represent at uh, West High School in Sioux City uh, in a good fashion.